Hey guys, let's get it. New intro, guys. I know you're going to like it. Let's go. Who's this producer? Miss Believer was black or invested. With your money, you ain't got to be guessing. Profits is what we manifest. So we binge on a black who invested. This believer was black who invested. Got course in this race, we ain't resting. We got stocks, we got crypto with a blessing. So thank God for that black who invested. This believer was black who invested. Telling you guys, my guy Indigo killed that, guys. I am, man, he just. Man, y'all ain't even heard the whole song. I'm telling y'all, like, some days I just get up and listen to it and just get hyped, like. Man, that's, it's just the essence of uh, Black Rue investing. So what's up, guys? It's your guy, Black Rue, back with another video. We're going to be talking about one that we have not talked about today or for a while. And big out, shout out to the Underdog Crypto community. Um, this research I did along with um, 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 Lenard from the uh, Underdog Crypto community. And uh, uh, you, you should be probably seeing them in the chat uh, for the Ruel report. Uh, the fuck? <laughs> but uh, in underdog crypto community, uh, Silky Johnson, like the uh, um, Dave Chappelle skit from back in the day. So, um, yeah, catch me every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Benzinga channel where we go over stock and crypto, mostly crypto. On a Ruel report every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not familiar with Benzinga, they are the one of the worldwide leaders actually in stock news. They do stock news for TD Ameritrade, um, Webull, amongst others. I'm very thankful and grateful to have a show on their channel. So let's get into Blocktopia, shall we? And definitely come over to the channel, like and subscribe. We're making a push to a thousand subscribers. Want to get there by my birthday, March the 29th. So, um, yep, about 116 away. But let's take a look at this <coughs> Blocktopia. So, first of all, <coughs> big backers like, we'll go down here and look at it. Uh, big backers like, oh. Where is it? Can't find it here, but he's in one of okay, so BitBoy, uh Crypto Windio. And it's always like there are a f more than a few cases out there. And if you <clears throat> go look online on YouTube, you can actually find a few different people, including my guy underdog crypto, who have talked about big boy and what he's done as far as like um dumping on people with coins and he has done it like i i've seen it myself so um a lot of people try to toe the line because he has like three million like like he has a ton of subscribers and anytime you you kind of talk about somebody and like point out something truthful that they've done um, you got a lot of people just biting back at you only because they're, they're going with the in crowd. But, um, if you, if you look, there are some cases, you know, allegedly, um, I, I, I could just speak from personal experience. I have seen that he's pumped in dub coins. I, I've seen that. Um, and if you, you look on uh, YouTube, you, you can look and see, and not have to look too hard and find people that are like these guys, Big Boy and a couple others, have dumped. So you, you don't have to look too hard to find that. Um, so I said that to say, if you look at the court, the price of Blocktopia right now. Um, and let's go to, instead of five minute chart, let's go to day chart. Um, we be getting it at under two cents. So all of the dumping, if it's happened, it happened over here. 
where it was as high as 13 cents or whatever, 14 cents. And now it's down to like two cents. So, and it was under that. It was actually at like one cent or, okay, right here. Yeah, so it was like one and a half cents. So all the dumping, if if you were worried about a dump, it, it's already happened. Um, it was as high as 16 cents. So, <laughs> um, but besides Crypto Wendy, O oh, and Big Boy, they have some other heavy hitters on tap here. Um, I don't know why it's not showing it now, but I saw. Okay, here we go. PlayStation. That's huge. Okay, and here it's finally showing it. Big Boy, um, Crypto Windio, but more importantly. All capital. These guys are big. Every time I see them on a project, more likely it's one that's going to succeed. They were in on uh, Axie Infinity. I like this this uh, site. They 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 tend to invest in really good companies. So does X twenty one. So good to see these two. Great to see Polygon Avalanche. Great to see PlayStation. So we put all of that into place. I think we got something. <clears throat> and you can see here, like, even next to Big Boy, they're talking about TED Talks. Um, they had something that looked like UFC. And they say something like UTC in the auditorium. I don't know what UTC means. What, UTC time, maybe? But it's it's not... They know this looks like a UFC type deal going on here. So, um, not that they have USC as partners, but they got some type of like fight looking thing going on there. So, looks very very promising. Look like looks like it's made with the uh, Unreal Engine is what they're going to be using for that. Um, their land is already selling for quite quite. Um, a little value here. Um, let's see if we can find it. Uh, we could go find it, but their land's already selling for quite a bit. And if you come on to their Twitter, 362k followers. So we already know the big boy and um, uh, Crypto Windio, they have tons of followers, but the fact that they have PlayStation on board too. That's pretty huge. And it seems like they already started an alpha. <clears throat> um, if you go over here and look into the medium. Dude, I don't know why I'm, I keep sniffling today, but the sniffles are real today. Sorry, guys. I know that's going to annoy a lot of people. I, 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 I'm just so sorry about it. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, let's see here. So here we go. They already have the play to earn, kind of the little alpha of the world started. That's really good to see. Um, so, yeah, I'm just liking the promise of this. Um, so, I'm picking up some of these coins personally because it seems like they're at a low enough fee right here at like under, just barely under two cents. That, all right, if it retakes its high, which is 16 cents, that's a, what, it's two times eight, so that's an 8x. Even if we're not looking for it to do that, even if we're just looking, okay, go back to five. You know what I mean? That's that's already a, a two, more than a 2x for us, you know what I mean? So... If we go and look at the GAN fans, which I've been very happy with these GAN fans and what they show us. Seems like it's coming back to this resistance here. But <clears throat> if we were to put a line kind of to work with this here. The resistance really is kind of around here. So if it gets past like the middle of that blue or what is this green? The middle of this green um, triangle, or 
yeah, like triangle or whatever. If it gets <clears throat> past that, then we're in for kind of a tumble. But what it seems like, at least if we look at <clears throat> the GAN resistance and the RSI, is that it has a nice little level. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Right in the middle here. So, um... Chances are it's going to stick really, really closely to that resistance. Let's see if we can go to the 30 minute and it shows us anything differently. By the kind of beating on the door of this uh, resistance here. But it's also coming down on the GAN fan. Or coming down on the Wyckoff. And coming down on the RSI. Let's see here. One five minute is slightly, slightly coming up. Looks like it's bouncing. So, yep, bouncing off of oversold RSI. Bouncing off of this GAN fan support. So, in the very, very five minute short term, it looks like it's going to go back up a little bit. Thirty minute looks like it's kind of on the way down, so let's get the hourly one. Hourly looks like it's on the way down, but still we got this this resistance or this support here, right? So it's probably heading back towards the support of the pink triangle here. But needless to say, if we go out to Three hours still, like I said, it, ha it would have to break this point to look bearish. And if we go out to the day chart, it's, it, it already went past oversold. And it's to the middle point here, of which looks like it has more to go before it's over. Um, it's overbought. So... For me, seems like a pretty good spot to get in. Um, not financial advice. This seems like a good spot. So, it's a new one for y'all. We haven't talked Blocktopia yet. But um, me and those guys I just mentioned, uh, Silky and Lenar, we're trying to get something together so we can talk like almost like five or six or seven metaverse tokens for y'all. This is one of them. Just wanted to kind of hit you guys with it while the price of the coin was still low. Y'all really got to thank Lennar for this one. He kind of pointed it out for me and I went and did the research on it. So um, if you guys come over to the Underdog Crypto community um, or you see him in one of the um, Ruel reports um, with Benzinga, you have, to, you have to give him a tip of the cap for this one because... Um, he brought it to my attention. I just did a little extra research along with some things that uh, he showed me as well. So, got to definitely tip the cap for him to him for this one. Um, yeah, guys. So, come on over to the channel. Like and subscribe. Check out some of my previous videos here. And if you're coming to the channel, that is dark forcewatcher.com thank you guys so much have a good one peace